Hello student, this is lecture 42 based on fifth unit for the subject VLSI design. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss about this design for testability. Okay, so some introduction part in this lecture we will cover. So starting with this testability, so when we go for this fabrication process, okay, so if I talk about the fabrication. Okay, so what will happen? We may fabricated this chip. Okay, so if we are going the, this fabrication of this chip without the without the test. Okay, so what will happen? Suppose you design the chip and uh, introduce in the market for selling it. Okay. So, what will happen if someone is doing uh, designing some circuit okay, and uh, they find out that this chip is not working properly. Okay, so, what you have to do again you have to go back and uh, start with the initial phase okay, fabrication process and all of you know the steps are involved in steps are involved in fabrication okay so this fabrication process uh, takes around 3 to 4 months for designing a single chip okay so if you find out that your chip is not working properly so what do you have to do you have to uh, start the, your fabrication process from the initial phase so again it will take to 4 to, or 3 to 4 months again okay so, it is very time consuming and highly complex. Okay. So, before uh, this uh, pro, uh, chip introducing in market, we test this chip okay, at every phase like when we are going to design your architecture. Okay, when you are going to doing a you know, logic circuit logic function okay at circuit level so we do the tests at each every step so that if the design your chip is not working at up to the marks or uh, not uh, working as the re result required so we find out that the where we are this uh, fault is coming and we remove this ok. So, uh, when faulty chips this uh, as I told you when this faulty chips pass in improperly designed tests they can cause system failures and enormous difficulty in system debugging ok. So, it is known that debugging cost increase by about tenfold from chip level to the board level, PC board level or your uh, package level. Okay. So, uh, it is a, of great importance to detect faults as early as possible. Okay. So, we have to find out whether whenever this fault is coming, we have to find out otherwise it will consume your cost. Okay. So, the parameter affecting okay, that is your important parameter is time then it is cost ok. So, for this to overcome such difficulties issue design for testability now the term design for testability come ok ye parameter yaha pe introduce hota hai. <coughs> sorry so this design for testability is nothing else it includes the faults corresponding the faulty models okay design of testable circuit whatever we are designing okay we have to test and the self testing circuits okay so suppose if the circuit is a uh, faulty the circuit itself find out that there is a, a problem okay 
So, this is a small introduction about the design for testability, why we are going towards to this test. Okay. So, why we are going? Because this will impact your the time and the cost and obviously, the time is very important. Okay. Suppose, if you have the, uh, given a particular task, so, okay. so you have to complete this task within a particular time duration. Okay. So, in VLSI design, suppose you are going to design any circuit. Okay. So, a circuit requires chips for particular, uh, suppose you are going to design ALU, arithmetic logic unit. Okay. So, for that you have required the adder, you have required the multiplier. Okay. So, all the chips are available in the market, but these chips, uh, this, these chips whatever you are using in designing the ALU should go through, uh, should have the, this testability process. Okay. Whenever the, you are available all the chips, the time for making the circuit is less. Okay. Suppose, you do not have any chip. So, firstly you have to design the chip. Okay. Then you have to go to design this ELU circuit and for this chip, you have to ensure that, that your chip is working properly. Okay. So, that is why this testability is required at the time of the fabrication of the chips. So, in coming lectures, we are going to discuss all the faults or these uh, uh, faults at the your uh, architecture level, faults at the uh, circuit level or in, uh, more and self testing circuits. We are going to discuss about these all the terms. Okay. So, thank you students. This is all about this introduction of the testability. Thank you.